Detroit basketball. It's your favorite Piston fans, favorite Piston fan, your boy, flagrant elbow. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Piston fans, here's some information about Ivy that I felt was intriguing. Uh, Jaden Ivy, we think about him, the first thing we think about a lot of times is his speed. So offensively, we know he's going to be a beast. Uh, getting to the rim, uh, getting past people in the NBA. He's patterned his game after Jay Morant. Uh, but some things uh, that I'm reading from one article, he was challenged by Troy to do that on the defensive end. So it was a play in practice, a little um, practice they got before summer league starts up. And Casey noticed, uh, he says, and I quote, he made one play yesterday where he went over. First he fell down, then he went and helped on one side of the floor. Uh, and then he went to the other side of the floor and got a steal just with how quick he is. So his speed is already showing an impact on the defensive end. Now, we got to have scoring. We got to have three-point shooting. I understand all of that. I do. But I'm an old-school Piston fan, and I like to watch good defense. I like to watch our team shut people down, uh, whether it's blocking shots, altering shots, getting steals. I like to see the frustration. The frustration I seen in the Lakers back when the Pistons won in 2004 was beautiful. They were really outdone, outmatched, outdefended. They couldn't get their offense flowing. I don't care what type of scorer you are. If you got a defensive squad in front of you where everybody's locked in defensively, they're going to give you some problems and you're going to have a bad night. Sometimes you won't, but you're going to have a bad night. Defense gives teams the opportunity to be able to win even if they're having a bad night. So that's why I like defense. I like offensive scoring as well. You want something that's entertaining. But for me, I'm just old school. I like defense. Um, but like I said, you got to have shooting. You, I understand all of that. Some people will try to kill me in the comments. Oh, no, you got to. I, I get it. I, I, I like offense. I like three-point shots going in. But this com these comments were interesting about Jade and I because, like I said, I always think about him um, a lot of times of offensively and how he's going to help Cade and be a good um one-two punch with Cade. Cade's laid back, uh, precise, concise with everything he does. And then you got this fast guard coming in there slashing. And I'm thinking about that. But to see him being an impact player defensively um, is going to be nice. Ivy mentioned himself. He says he wants to be an impact defender. He said, that's what I'm working on. In practice, I feel like I'm being really aggressive. Just that Pistons mindset, that bad boy's mindset you got to go out there every day and impact on the defensive end and i feel like i've really improved in that aspect when i got here he's sold on being a defensive juggernaut helping this team be one i like that casey said his speed is elite i like that so he's gonna have to learn how to channel that speed in the right place in the right ways He's working with Jordan Brink, who will be the coach for the Summer League. Um, and I guess uh, Jordan Brink is working, uh, pushing him through individual workouts, picking him up uh, from the hotel and taking him straight to the Pistons Performance Center and just working with him. Ivy said uh, that, uh, speaking about Brink, she said, he's taking me in. I've got to give props to Jordan. I just thank him for getting up early and helping me work on my game. Also, another statement made by Ivy shows that the camaraderie is in full effect. He says, I see myself fitting in well. I feel like we're connected. The first two days, I feel like we're all connected as a group and we're talking to each other and just building that team chemistry. I love these guys already. I like that. I like that. I like that. So I can't wait for Summer League to start tomorrow. Of course, you guys know K won't be playing. His trainer, Ashton, uh, uh, sent out a tweet letting us know that he won't be playing, and that's fine. He had to at least be listed so that he can uh, be part of uh, the practice squad. So to see Cade over there as an additional coach is going to be nice. Building that camaraderie, building that chemistry with the squad. So let's look forward to Summer League tomorrow. Um, I have a video coming out after I watch that. I'm going to be tired. But I have a video coming out after I watch that. Thank you guys for helping me get to, I think, 127 right now. 
Appreciate it. Let's go, Pistons. Everybody stay safe.